The one and only, you already know, Mr. Unmatched himself, Truck Bryant. Let's give it up, Truck Bryant. My, my brother, I appreciate you, brother, always. Well, I, you know, I know that, let, let's, let's just get this straight here first, y'all. The reason why you're not seeing Truck right now, we had technical difficulties, but we get the ball rolling, we keep things going. But check this out. Y'all know this is Truck's MO. Y'all know this is Truck's MO. If you watched his show, and I know y'all have, he never shows his face. Well, actually, he showed right. his face one time when I saw when KD popped up. I seen that. He had the shades on. That was the one time <laughs> I did. <didn't... laughs> hey, Brusky, Brusky, you know what I tell him? What's what in the dark? Me? What's in the dark always comes to the light. <laughs> no, no, but you know what? That's like a sign of God. Like, you know, right here. You know, it's the same thing that you have going on. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just rock out. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I'm just happy to get you on here. So what's going on, my brother? What you got going I'm, on right now? I'm happy to be in here, brother. I, yo, listen. Okay, I, you know, usually my interviews and, you know, my Zoom calls and everything like that, I get right to it because, you know, you got to, you don't, you don't have too long to catch the, the, the listeners or the, the, the eyes of the people to keep their attention. So let's get right to it, Chuck. Let, let me ask you a quick, simple question. How did it all start? Now, we're talking basketball here. We're going to talk truck from, let's say, 10 years old. Is that cool with you? Can we start from 10? Bro, look, you, look, listen, let me tell you something about you know me. Like, you know I'm here. I'm, I'm here for the people. I'm here for you, broski. Talk let's to me. Finish. Okay, 10 years old. Truck Bryant. Where does it all start? I'm, I'm, I'm a young ass. I'm playing on the little hoops. I'm dunking on motherfuckers. I'm feeling great. <laughs> now, <laughs> look. Now, now, 10 years old, we go to 11. Down, now I start, like, I really start learning how to play basketball. So now I know what's really going on in life. I'm like, damn, I got to work hard at this. I think I could be special. And so then I'm going to. 10 years old, you really wasn't even, like, on teams like that, nor, like, taking it seriously? I was. I was hooping, but you know, at that age, you can't take nothing too serious. It's like, like yo, bro, just enjoy the moment. But as I start getting better, it was like, damn, maybe I could be like good at this. And I mean, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, listen, you. I mean, like, first of all, congratulations, man. I mean, from 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 you know, I don't know too many people that that you know that that make it that far. You know, to even playing professional, to even. You know, playing, you know, like uh, playing D1 for West Virginia, you know, playing, you know, even high school, even playing for even the high school you went to. You know what I'm saying? That's an accomplishment, my, my boy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Congratulations on that, you know, and definitely give it up for Chuck. And, um, yeah, so 10 years old, you really wasn't serious at it. 11 years old, you started getting serious. See, the reason why I ask that is because there's a lot of kids now and parents that are like, like have kids do boot camp at like five years old and swear their kid is going to the league at like yeah, seven years old. So, you know, this is why I wanted to know the, these things because, you know, like I think like the people need to know these, like know that, like even as far as parents that are listening, that, you know, to take it serious at 11 years old and then make it to where you made it, you know, yeah. I know kids that are playing five and under. You know what I'm saying? Broski, you know, you know how that go though. Every, every, and that's one thing that I, that I preach a lot too. Like, listen, parents, like, let your kid live his dream. Don't live his dream for him. That, like, that's you know what I mean. That's that's. I don't like that because I got two daughters, right? I got one. She's so tall. I want her to play basketball. She's eight years old. She might not ever play, and I could accept that. Thanks. You know what I mean? But you can't live your kid dream through them. Just let them be who they are. Help them during the way. That's a fact. Oh, oh. Now, I got a son oh. that... Uh, I'm listening to that. I got a son that that, that plays um, or that played. And um, I ain't gonna lie. I had him out there six years old. 
And, you know, our relationship now is better that he doesn't play basketball anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like from a like father to son relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's like now we're talking more, you know, about things besides sports and besides basketball. You know, but that's something different. You know, I'm just saying that, you know, to pick up a basketball at 11 years, 10 years old, and then 11 years old, you're saying, like, I got to get serious at this. You know, that's what I was meaning that, you know, that the parents open their eyes, like, don't put too much pressure on them at seven, eight years old. It that's a mean. fact. That's a fact, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so 11 years old. So 11, yeah. years, old. So 11 yeah. years old. Let's get right to this. 11 years old, you, you get serious. What's the step that you take from 11 years old? From, from there on, what's the steps that you took? I just, honestly, like, Obviously, you know I'm from Brooklyn, but I just I look I look at those guys that grew up before me, and you see you see like I'm at Gaucho's gym, and I see Ross Strickland with a um Bentley, and it's like damn I want one of those. Like, you know what I mean? I'm I, like, I'm almost I'm not there yet, but I'm almost there. And it's just like damn, I need that. But that's that's gonna make me know that I made it. So that makes you run the laps harder. Make you do everything and make you do everything. <laughs> For more motivation. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. This is why I wanted to do this interview. I've never heard no one say that. No one's Perfect. ever kept it that a hundred. And you know what? That's the truth. I that's know the that's truth. the truth. I know that's the truth. As far as even the player, as far as even the parents, as far as the agency, that's what has to motivate you. I'm it not gonna lie. You know, you, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth, Broski. I tell everybody the truth. Sometimes people don't like it, but I gotta tell you the truth because I look. You could judge me, and you could judge me. No, but listen, no, just no, know you already made that it. I'm, you, you, right now, it's the time to you know to, to keep it a hundred because there's nothing to judge about. You did the right thing. Right. You did the right thing already. Whether if wherever if it was the Bentley that made you get to West Virginia, God bless the Bentley because you got the degree. A lot of people don't have that. You know what it's I'm saying? Fact, okay, yeah, so go ahead. So, 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 as is keeping it real, you said you were saying that uh, um, people might judge you. People, yeah, people might judge me because I tell the truth. Everybody don't like the truth, but I gotta keep it hundred. I got to because this the, look this the way I feel. If you feel some type of way, I'm gonna respect that. If somebody else feels some type of way, I'm gonna respect that. I might not agree, right? I, but I don't need everybody to agree with me. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, um, it's obvious that you, you, you were definitely and still to this day a coachable and workable person because you know playing for you know uh, the coaches that you've played for, you know that these coaches aren't easy people to play for. So therefore, you're definitely an easy person to you know to to you know to get business done with. So that's a good thing. But um, coming up. Now, from 11 to, let's say, 14 years old, was it hard or you wasn't even thinking about it? Was it stressful, actually? No, I, I, wasn't, stressed. I wasn't stressed at all because, look, my mother did a great job. My, my step pops, they did a great job. They just, look, they taught me how to work hard. They, they instilled that in me. So, so it shit started getting easier as I started getting older. Right. I I really I just I knew it work my ass off everything gonna come after that, right? So now let's get to the working your ass part off because you know like there's a lot of people with you know you can see with the working out with you know just you you might run a hundred suicides and mentally in your mind think yes I did something I'm going to go to the next level. Was there a strategy that you tried to stay by or that you stayed by? I ain't gonna lie, broski. You, you look, you know me. I just I just work hard. Look, I work hard, right? It's gonna be bumps in the road at all, look, this is for the young kids. It's gonna be bumps in the road at all times. You gotta you gotta persevere through everything and you you just gotta stay locked in. I always been locked in. I'm still locked in to this day. I'm thirty one. I'm just locked in. Like some, some, sometimes when you got goals, you got to figure out a way 
if look, it's not handed to you. So you gotta fit. Some people it is, but for me it's not. And you gotta figure out a way to reach those goals. Right now, um, yeah, I mean, shit, that, that, that's you know, that's pretty much you know, uh, it, you know, that that's the way I've, I was taught too, man. If you if you don't really have a goal, you know, you're just running around. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you're this kid that's out there and you're I feel like if you're playing for your parents or you're playing for others than yourself and yourself to have a goal for yourself, you're wasting your time. Do something else. Something else. You could go get a trade. Go, you know, do do something that, you know, go learn how to be a producer. Learn how to do something that could take you, you know, out of your situation or, you know, let you get on yourself on your own. But hey, you know, bros- hey Broski, Broski, you want to hear something I always go by? I will always go by this in life. If you scared, go with a dog. That's it. Yeah, That's it. You got to attack everything. Got to. You got to. I mean, you know, you got to. So now, so now let's let's talk about the way you attack. So you, once you it's once you now fourteen years old because you you played for the Gauchos, correct? Right? Gaucho, yeah, Gaucho. Now, now, now that team Gaucho. that you was on was like we're talking. Kimba Walker, we're talking um, like uh, uh, Jordan Theodore. We're talking uh, uh, who else? It, uh, it's like it's so many, right? Scott, that's, that's... Russ Smith. We're talking like, come on, this yeah, team, that, that whole team was like Big East ACC. That, that's so tough. But shout shout out to shout out to them. No, shout out to all of them. I love my brothers. Shout so, out to them. So let me ask you that. I'm sorry, man. I mean, even though people are probably like Shay, but wait, you, we want to know how did he get there? Listen, that's something that we can get to when we get down to the sit down. Let, I want to get right to the business. Let's talk about that Gaucho's team. Y'all was blowing, y'all was beating everybody, really, right? Everybody. But y'all had no big man. <laughs> When nipped out, I can't lie, I wanted to cry And I ain't even know the nigga, so I don't know why I don't know if I'm starting to get emotional But through your music somehow I felt like I was close to you Whatever the reason it, I tell you I believed in him And every fucking jewel you was dropping I was receiving them The crazy thing, it was about black empowerment Trying to say the hood And the fucking hood devoured him They wanna do the same to me I ain't allowing it my mama tell me y'all get jealous when I'm styling them So I can't get this money and bring it to the south side Or one of y'all gon' slug me one day when I'm just outside A nigga who say he love me gon' leave me with my mouth wide A potential op who walk by a hundred and fucking ten times The crazy thing about death, you don't know when it's end time Historical black leaders, check the records, we've been dying Hulk a feeling like Tiger Woods, yeah, I wanna swing iron Disgusting with my people, I'm feeling fucked Niggas be acting like it never happened. Bitches be ratting and niggas be acting like it never happened. Bitches be ratting and niggas be dead. I ain't gonna front. We was just, I ain't gonna front. We were so locked in. Like, it, it, it was crazy because the three guards, the three, the three point guards that started was me, Kimba, John Theodore. But look, this, this, this the truth right here. <laughs> we, 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 we really put our pride to the side. Nobody cared who had 30, nobody cared who had 40. Nobody care what school this person had. We just all locked in together, and and it, and it made us all successful. Cause your big man was, I think, was Kevin Perone, right? And now he played with us sometimes, but we had we had um Danny Jennings. He actually he went to West Virginia too. But honestly, we 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 played four guards the whole summer and lost two games, maybe. Yeah, cause your man One. names on there too. Fouch, right? Yeah, Fouch. She Fouch. Shout to she Fouch. Yeah, but shout out to but you know who my main man that was on your team, Darvell, man. That, oh, that's, my, that's, that's my son. <laughs> that's my that's my dog right there. He's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. That's Darvell. Yeah, I remember Trump one day uh, at the CYP. Remember that tournament, CYP? Yeah, Porsche has the Porsche. Okay, so I don't know if you ever remember this, but I think you was in ninth, tenth grade. 
one of those uh, grades. He was, play, he was playing in there since ninth grade, probably. But anyway, when you walked in the gym, I remember, I, this is when your name was heating up in the city. And I was in there with my cousin Mike. He was playing on the team that was uh, the, uh, the uh, Rodney Abrams team. And we was yeah, uh, Mike, Mike, tall Mike. Yes, fact. And then I seen you walking in. And I remember, because that's how I knew, that's how like I knew a lot about you and, 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 and met you, really, because Mike was playing with y'all at a young age. So I was, you know, I was always around, you know, like around. So basically, I was, um, I remember asking you, I said, truck. I said, it was good. And, you know, we would talk, whatever. And I said, truck, am I going to see you at the next level? And you said, come on, Shay, that's a stupid question. Of course. <laughs> and two years later, I ain't going to lie, I seen you, West Virginia, Sweet Sixteen. Broski. I mean, it, was, it was crazy, I, bro. It I've, was arrived, I've, I've arrived, Broski, but it's all, like, it's all, like, I really worked my ass off, Broski. No, you were doing your thing at West Virginia, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And you know what? Every game was was killer guards. Every game. I ain't gonna lie. That's like the that was like an NBA. That year was like an NBA, like an NBA conference, man. That shit was like, y'all followed every game, bro, in that Big East. That shit was lit. That shit was tough. That like you got, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a freshman. I'm a freshman. I gotta guard everybody. Like, why I gotta guard all these NBA motherfuckers? Like, I'm just like, damn. I I don't have one off night. So, what's the hardest thing about the transition from high school to college? Because that's when you know it's real. It's like, yo, you got study hall. You got I, like me at West Virginia. I, we practice three hours a day. Right. We got practice. I'm talking about. I'm talking about that shit hard though. Like, you got practice for three hours. You got study hall. Look, you 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 want to go take a nap during the day. You got to go to them classes. Like it's class checkers there. Like it's just so much going on, and it's like, damn, this this a lot to deal with. But at the end of the day, it's always all worth it when you can get a degree for free, and when you can play at the highest level for free. Hmm, that's a fact. So I see you post a lot. Um. On your on your Instagram, um, Kevin Jones. That's his name, right? From Kevin Mount Jones, Vernon. from Mount Vernon, one of my best friends in the world. Now I'm gonna tell you, that's that's yo, and, and you know, and by you saying that, just tells your character because he's like just a great person, man. Like I, I, great, I, I, great person, man. I mean, because I remember when he was, I think he was with the Westchester Hawks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played for them. Yeah, he played for the Hawks, and he would kill Patrick in that team with Mookie yeah. Jones in there, right? Yeah. yeah. So I used to see him around a lot, and you know, he just was real polite, real talk. You know, so when I seen y'all teamed up at West Virginia, I like, hmm, I like this New York crew together. I like this crew together. And what was the other guy that y'all had? Um, that was from e three. E events. E events. Yeah. E fucking Banks, man. Shout out to, to E Banks. Shout out to the Lakers. Look, he played for the Lakers. He played. He played with Kobe. That's tough. E Banks played with Kobe's. A lot of people can't say they really, really know Kobe. He can. That's tough. He definitely can. He definitely can. I mean, that. I mean, for him alone, that's like something that he could tell his grandkids, grandkids, if he's still the max. Like, I play with Kobe. Son. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> That's tough. Yeah. I mean, have you spoke to Ebanks about that? Yeah, I spoke to him. This, look, let me tell y'all a story. Look, y'all never gonna hear this from Ebanks. So look, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna give you something, Shay. Okay. <laughs> Kobe was Kobe shot on five people. The coach at the time was Mike Brown. I never forget the story when Ebanks told me. Mike Brown sent Ron Artest to go get Kobe out the game because he shot on five people. Kobe said, I'm not coming out. Ron Artest at the table. They was like, sub. He said, coach. Kobe said, he's not coming out. <laughs> what? Wait, e Bank said that? And wait, and wait, no, no. Kobe said that. Kobe I know, but I'm saying e Bank told you that story. Yeah, he told me that story. And what? Kobe, whenever Kobe told the coach he didn't want to come out, he didn't come out. He didn't come out. I believe it. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I believe that. Come on, son. That's a guarantee. Like, you know, like Kobe. Now, you know, I'm glad that you touched on that because this was something else that I wanted to lead up on to. 
this show that you got, I got to say, man. First of all, give it up for the your show is whenever I can, I try to come to your show. Because your show, you just don't know what NBA player is going to pop up in there with you. What's going on, bro? I love it. Bro, bro, broski, I, broski, the crazy part is sometimes I don't know what NBA player is going to pop up. It That's just... what I'm trying to say. That's why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit crazy. Cause they all pop up and they don't know what you gonna say. I know. One day, I, look, <laughs> look. One day, and this is one least. I'm talking about one of the least people you will ever expect to pop up in it. Right? Joe Ingles was in there one day. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. I don't know who. Yeah, I don't know who sent Joe Ingles, but Joe what? Ingles was in there. You had Joe Ingles in your live. He was in the live. He, that is so I, bad. I mean, I, I, he, was just I he was just listening. I wish he would have tapped in, but yeah, we don't. I'm gonna get Joe Ingles. I gotta get Joe Ingles now. Now I know he know what's going on. That's so crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie. The first time I went in there, cause the the first person for shout out to Russ Smith too. Russ sent me the first invite that I had. Shout out to Russ for sure. Shout out to Russ. I, I, I don't even want to touch on Russ. Russ is like. Like a person that that's just the nicest soul in the world. I love him to death. I ain't gonna lie to Russ. Man, Russ man. Man. Shout out to Russ Smith. Man. That's, a, <laughs> that's another. That's another great person right there. Shout Hell, out to Russ yeah. Smith. Hell yeah! But the first time Russ sent me live, I came in there. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? I need, of course, the truck boy. I said, well, look. so when I came in, I saw you arguing with, um, you was going at him too. Malcolm, probably Malcolm. Yes. This was over the corona. Yo, I know a lot. You had corona locked down. Corona or Chuck Bright? Locked down. I, oh, I, look. Yo, sir, all you corona, your shit was get a blood, sit back, wait for the shit to get, wait till Chuck say, I'm going live, son. Hey, Shay, I told them we, <laughs> I, hey, Shay, I told them we masked up. We was masked up way before corona. Don't let that go. Yo, yeah. son, <laughs> that's why I said, I don't mind doing this interview you know, because the technical difficulties that we had. This is your MO. They never see your face on your show. It's a black screen. Black screen, Broski. <laughs> black screen, Broski. But 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 listen, Broski, because this is the best bar I could give you. What's in the dark always comes to the light. They gotta know that. Definitely. 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 So now let's talk about the, the let's talk more on this show thing. Um did these guys ever? You had over a hundred games set up with, me, with these guys. Want to play? They want to play. Like they run in their mouth. I've seen people ready to say like, "Yo, when I see you, you know, for like it's bigger than basketball. When I see you, you like there was times when you had to calm people down. Like, nah, we're not fighting when we see each other. You know what I'm saying? All basketball they got that crazy in there. So you know, I, I, did did any of those games that happen? No, but let me explain why, right? It was Corona, right? And then I went back to play. I, I didn't play gotcha. for a year straight. I went back to play. I told them, look, I'm talking all that shit during Corona, right? I'm, mind you, I did not play that year. Right. I got off the couch and I averaged 21 points a game. Yeah, right. I, 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 I swear, I swear. I averaged 21 a game. I said, look, if y if, I had to tell them, Shay, if y'all don't think I'm one of the hardest out, Y'all got to realize that now. Yeah. I was just talking all this shit, got off the couch and backed it up. 21 a game. Why, they were saying that you couldn't do it? I don't know, because I ain't played for a year, so I think they was feeling iffy about me. But I said, listen, look, remember remember who I am, too. I, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm going to talk that shit, but I'm going to be about it, too. But this is the thing with the one-on-ones. I, 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 want, I, I want something to happen. Wait, I want that? something I to happen. West Virginia, right? Oh, for sure. Um, top ten hey, misses. Broke the records at St. Ravens, right? Yeah, I was the all-time leader scorer for like for like ten years. <laughs> they don't truck. They don't truck. They can't. They can't front on your side. They can't. They can't. They they can't. can't. That's why they come in there. They know that. Like, okay, you know what? At the end of the day, they, they, they do got numbers. You know what I'm saying? Just like us. Like when you got the numbers, it's but so much you can front on a person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna let them talk, but I can't let them talk too much because I know who I am too. So wait, you got you average twenty one a game out there, like 
Like going playing your game or going nuts? Not going nuts. Not going nuts. <laughs> going nuts. Like they like I would like they they know they knew they couldn't do nothing with me. I just had to I just had to go off. Yeah, they knew what it was. It's time. When it's time to win, they gotta they gotta let me just be me. Facts. So I just wanna know how the hell did you get Kevin Durant to come in there with Hey you shit. Were, even hey. With, yo, you was like a friendly base guard for him over the corona. Nah, he no funny like, shit. You play you one on one they beat you sixteen nothing and he was training. Yo, yeah, but look, this is why Kevin Durant, look, this is why Kevin Durant's so cool, right? I don't know who, who sent Kevin Durant out. Look, he, look, this I, this I know Kevin Durant's so cool. You just say you check in with somebody everywhere you go. Right. Look, oh, not you, but the young niggas. Young niggas got the word check in so messed up right now. Right. Like when a nigga say check in, the nigga automatically not you on yeah. the young like the young people got that word just messed up right now. That's what y'all crazy is. When somebody hit check in, they automatically think like you check hey, like you paying a nigga check. You feel me? Or like yeah. oh he's saying I gotta pull up here. But that's why I'm glad you said that because I never really had a problem with like checking that like when like one time I've been in my hometown when the rapper came down there, I'm like, I'm oh, been down here, he ain't even came to mess with me, you feel me? The one I'm from. I just wanted yeah. to show him certain stuff. Yeah. You feel me? So base guard for him over the co corona. Nah, he no was like, you wanna play you one on one? They beat you 16, nothing, and he was tweeting. Yo, yeah, but look, this is why Kevin Durant, look, this is why Kevin Durant's so cool, right? I don't know who sent Kevin Durant out. Look, he look this. I this I know Kevin Durant so cool though. Kevin Durant said he know who I am. He said, "Yo, you was a glue guy, at West Virginia." Okay, I got you, Kevin Durant. I understand you. But listen, once 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 I was a junior and senior, I was the glue. I was Elmas. Don't let that go over your head. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, he when he came in the lab, that's what he was saying. So he came yeah. to research he, was, he yeah, he did his homework. He did his homework. I, <laughs> yeah, but but I told him, look, his homework was due by noon. He had to, he he had to talk to me nicely. Like just talk to me nice. That's it. <laughs> Is that Kevin Durant's homework was due by noon? Yo, son, I'm in the lab. When I seen that son, I was on the floor. Oh yeah, another another historic moment. Okay, I'm gonna tell you your show his historic moments, and you can tell me if I'm capping or not. I'm Kevin not, Durant. I'm... Kevin Durant would probably be the number one, just because that's Kevin Durant. Facts. Okay. Then you have my favorite guys, the twins. The twins. I think you know. I think Kyrie. I think Kyrie did. Oh, I think Ky Kyrie Irving. I think Kyrie. Oh really, I, honestly, that, that, come on, bro. You we, you know we're not gonna. Put, Kyrie can't be number three. Kyrie's definitely number two. I forgot about Kyrie. Yeah, so you, you know, you know, Kyrie. You, you, know. you got Kyrie Irving popping up on on the show. Okay, so then one of my favorites. is seeing Russ Smith when he was walking around with the red robe. Yeah, that kid, that kid, that kid is. I used I'm, to be on the floor. Yo, he. Lou Williams came in. I said, "Yo, yeah. stole it over yeah, the I, <laughs> yo, I, for, I forgot about Lou Will. Lou Will yo, was when, there. You remember when Lou said to Russ? Lou came in. He was like, "Yo, yo, Russ, you nice. Don't get me wrong. You can score." Remember his his whole. This was his whole attitude. He said, "Russ, you can score. You nice." But you know, there's some people you can't gotta pay homage. He was saying Russ gotta pay homage to him pretty much. That's a fact. And, and look, I he, actually I'm happy. I'm that happy is Lou Wills. That. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You give Chuck and you give Russ the green light in the league. They 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 they, they can average the Lou Will numbers, son. Yeah, Lou Will is different, we, but the green light is different too. When we, we, look, I'll tell you one thing about me and Russ Smith. We're gonna find a way to score. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. 
Hey, Shay, let me tell you something. Russ let me... is going to get 10, 15 points. Hey, Shay, look. Shay, let me tell you something you don't know. Me and Russ Smith was teammates in middle school. Wait. You and Russ went to the same middle school? Same middle school. Don't tell me this was um the school in Harlem. Mont Carmel. Yes, Mont it was. Carmel. I knew it. I knew it. Mont Carmel had the best. Because the, the system really was Mark Carmel, then Rice. Right? Yeah, that's the system. That was right. the system. Mark Carmel, then Rice. So I know, but it both worked out for me and Russ because Russ went from Mount Carmel to, um, to uh, Malloy. I went from Mount Carmel to St. Raymond's. It worked out for us, though. We chose Definitely. our own path. Definitely. Yo, that year in New York City, yo, I still have the picture... In my crib, um, the newspaper clipping with that old city team, you, Lance. That was a that was that was a Yo, tough that's year. Tough. Um, what's the, your man's name? Landsberg. Yeah, Silver. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that was tough. That Shout I'm to telling you, those, Shout to Silver. Yo, son. <laughs> I don't know if yo, I argue about this all the time, Trump. And you know, um, I'm hoping people put some comments in on the YouTube at the bottom so they can see if they can tell me if I'm wrong. But I'm still debating on which class I look at your class like I look at the Marberries in the Sham Guard class. Yes. I put them in that, I put them, I'm standing by that. I'm up there in that age group. They about five years older than me. And but I was around in the gauchos years around all of that with the Marbury and them. I know I okay, it's this simple. That year gauchos had, and we're not gonna say just gauchos, New York City. We're we gonna put the gauchos in the New York City basketball. We're gonna say gauchos. They had Marbury, Sham, and Felipe. You Hey, Walt, Jordan Dado, that's tough. Come on, son. I can't say, I can't say that team. I can't say you put them up against y'all that they're gonna they, that they're gonna air y'all out. I can't say that. Because I don't know if them boys could I was there around with them. Like Marbury was fast. Marbury had to kill an instant. But y'all, y'all was killers too, bro. Y'all so was killers. little. They had big men. They had my man Earn Brown. They had seven footers, bro. That's what nobody understood about that Gaucho team. They had like five, seven footers. Yeah, that's tough. They had five, seven footers. I'm telling you, they had three of them. Two of them went to um, Kentucky. Um, Big Earn went straight to the NBA. Straight to the NBA. You know what I mean? They swore for Don't forget, Felipe was 6'6". Facts. Shooting guard. Come on. So I, I can't say that that class is better than y'all. You know what I'm saying? I can't say it. You know, I, 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 as much as I want to say it, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So now yeah. let's go back to the show now. You know, um, so Kevin Durant, he comes in there. He says he could beat you 16 to nothing. You tell him he's not going to beat you 16 to nothing. He's going to beat you 16 to four. That's what you say, right? Yeah, but he might. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> it depends. Cause I'm just sitting there. When I heard you say that, I'm like, okay, so that means you would have to get the ball first. I get. Uh, I tell you one thing. I get the ball first. I'm scoring for sure. Yeah, because I, I'm gonna tell you. I don't know if KD. I never really seen him guard guards outside like that. So if you got a mid-range game, I'm gonna give you one. He's seven feet. He's long. You know what I mean? He. he I'm, I'm scoring. I'm scoring. I think you can, man. I think you can if you if you got to come with the right strategy against him. No, man. The right strategy. Then remember, he's seven feet. Not I know. Him. He, he <laughs> won the best. He won the best in the world. I don't know what the right strategy is, but I don't. I'm scoring. Yeah. So, do you follow West Virginia? Of course, you know, my, my young boy just got drafted to the Knicks. Which one is that? Boost McBride. He is self he left as a sophomore. Yeah, I know who he was. He was he was, he was good this year. Yeah, he was he good was killing. So you, you are you in tune with a lot of the players at uh 
West Virginia as far as giving yeah, advice? Yeah, yeah, these are my young boys. I, I love my boys. And you go there anytime you want, really, right? Anytime, anytime I want. We got a, we got a, we got an alumni locker room. Shout out to Coach Huggins for that. You, you still live in, you still live in the area, right? Yeah, yeah, I live in West Virginia. Yo, I don't know not one person that. Okay, you, the people that are home that played college basketball are the ones that not got no burn. They live in, like, the ones I'm talking about from where I know from New York. The stars, they never leave, bro. Never. Nothing like that star power in that in them towns, bro. And these towns, there's no NBA teams. I went to Louisville with Russ. They treat him like God out there. That's a fact. We, look, we did a lot. We did a lot. And shout out to West Virginia. Shout out to Louisville, too. But we did a lot for these communities. But, like, a lot for these communities. They respect us just like we respect them. And and not that I wanted to touch on with you. The money situations as far as um these kids getting paid now. That's fucked. That's that's messed up, man. You know why? A person like you, Russ. We would have been we would have benefited. Oh my everybody. god, son. <laughs> would you have benefited? Come on, son. Come on, we, son. We, you guys we, had you guys on billboards. What you mean you would have yeah. been? Yeah, you we, a you're a star. Bottom we would have did, did so much with that. That yeah, that's crazy. You know, and you know, and I still feel like the NCAA and like these companies, as far as the one that's branding with these kids, I think there still should be a little royalties for people who have played that can't get royalties right now. That's a fact. That's you know what I'm fact, saying? Like, 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 just because you, like, you changed it now, you know, what about the money that you guys done made? Because Russ used to tell me, like, you go to the mall, jerseys is hanging in the mall. Foot locker, your jersey's in there. They owe a, they owe a check, for sure. Come on, son. You know what I'm saying? Your, your jersey's hanging everywhere. All through the arena. It's just, it's ridiculous. You know, I, I already know. So, you know, like, you know, the T-shirts, the, the merch, you know. I mean, how many times have you walked through the school and you saw people wearing Chuck Bryan shirts? Oh, for sure. Jer the jerseys, they oh. got them on. They owe a check, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. They owe a check. I know they owe a check, man. You know what I'm saying? The, and, the, the, and the bad thing is, it's like, it's like they paying the Fugazi talent right now. And we can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? You're paying the the, the 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 Instagram talent. You're not paying real talent. That's a fact. You know that's what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that's something different, though. But, uh, you know. But, Chuck, man, I would like to, whenever you come to New York, I would love to invite you up to the show, man. This was just a brief, you know, touch. touch you know, get, get, this is a brief with you, man. I just wanted to talk with you. You know, I love the show. You know, I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan, Chuck. My brother. I'm My a fan, brother. Bro. You know what I mean? I'm 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 saying it. I'm putting it on YouTube. I'm putting it on the gram. I am a fan. I've been a I'm, fan since day one. Chuck I'm, Bryant I'm, has been somebody since a kid. I just gotta I'm, say that. I'm I'm happy to have this conversation with you. And you're one of the people that made it, man. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you know you're my brother for life. And, and and I hope that people will share this and you know subscribe and like. You know that just just positive energy and um you know just give it up for my man Chuck Bryan and you know thanks a lot man and you know say baby Chuck Bryan you. thank you say, I appreciate you for having me brother thank you man and uh you know that's it man the great baby Chuck